Hey everyone and welcome back. So for today we're gonna be diving into Peru but before we go over there I just want to show you this drone shot from Michael Tellinger's channel. It's absolutely beautiful. Just have a look at this. This is really just an amazing piece of footage because it really shows you that we're dealing with something ancient here, something we don't know or understand. What is quite interesting about this one is, unlike the circles from before, this one seems to have straight lines and 90 degree angles. It has rooms and it has these little circles in the middle which look like silos. So this is quite important and this is what led me to make this video. So now I'm not sure if this one was actually rebuilt or repurposed. I don't think so. And you'll see the reason why shortly. Because this is something you would find in other parts of the world. Whereas the stone structures, the stone circles we've been looking before, they look quite different than this one. So this is a channel called Mind Earth and I will link him in the description below. So first off you'll see we have more circular structures and they do look remarkably similar don't they? So not exactly the same but you can see where the similarities are. And so we get to this site. Now notice all of these circular structures, they seem to be looking like silos and you have the same kind of uh, structures. So same same but different, right? So next we go into these canyons and you'll see just remarkable. Wow, how about that guys? So now, what are we looking at here? And next we have what looks like a built canal. So obviously we're working with the water again here. In this shot you can see there is like, uh, he mentions looks like a fire pit, but it's not. It's another tunnel or drain to another site, to another silo or what could be processing plants. So this is an actual gold mine and now you know what the correlation is. So there is a lot of gold mining in Peru and South Africa is probably one of the most mineral rich and especially gold mining. So the next topic it goes into is the canals and the waterways. And these guys were absolute masters at getting it from one place to another. So is this all used for gold mining? Or could it again have multiple purposes? And I'm sure it does. So for this next part, it just boggles the mind that people think this is the Inca that did this stuff. Because it's very technical, it looks very modern. And you'll see now in the actual footage it is very impressive and the mainstream call these storehouses so I'm not sure what to make of that now these look more like they have an industrial purpose and I'm sure that is what they were used for and then we go into more channels and aqueducts and you can see these guys are just masters can you imagine doing this today with simply these rocks and I'm sure they use these rocks for a reason. This is a very interesting picture. You can see the, the channel that runs down the hill. The boulders of this place were absolute masters at water flow. You can see that again here. Now notice here that the bottom layer seems to be more advanced than the top layer. So we're dealing with two waves of civilization here. As I'm sure you all know, you've seen the pictures of Machu Picchu and all the others. These stones are literally 
almost glued together. This as an example, you can actually see how they cut a piece of stone or a brick out of this boulder. And it's not a small boulder either. How did they do this? That's the big mystery, isn't it? I would theorize that they either had the ability to soften the stone, maybe with some vibration or uh, sound frequencies, or that this actual boulder was uh, already soft in the first place. And lastly, we see these boulders that have been cut into, and then here, where you can see these holes. This is probably where they put some probably wood beams in there. So, again, if the rock was soft, that would be simple and relatively easy. So guys, that's all for today. I thank you very much for watching and please do pay a visit to Mind Earth channel. I'm sure you will enjoy it. I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.